While it's no secret that the gaming industry is one of the most lucrative in the world, only now are we beginning to see well-known celebrities flock to games and lending their likeness or voice to the cause. Ellen Page and Willem Dafoe were perhaps the first big names to make their way to games in the choice-heavy narrative Beyond Two Souls. However, since then, we have seen a mass of celebrities make their way to the gaming scene with stars such as Keanu Reeves taking to the E3 stage to help market Cyberpunk 2077. What we are getting at here is that celebrities have realized that games aren't evil or trying to steal their thunder. They are simply another form of media and it seems instead of trying to beat them, they have joined the cause. So we thought it would be fun to look at some of the more unknown or surprising celebrity appearances in games. So here is our rundown of the seven most surprising celebrity cameos in your favorite video games. Number one, Rick Mail, Hogs of War. Okay, let's start with a retro one. If you've played games akin to the Worms series, then you'll get the core premise for Hogs of War. It was a tactical war game with a cartoonish overlay, wacky anthropomorphic characters, and weirdly enough, British comedy legend Rick Mail was part of the cult classic game, offering his own unique brand of off-the-cuff and vulgar humor to the otherwise unremarkable title. He offered a collection of incredible lines that made this title memorable for his input alone and is perhaps why many still love this title today. It may well be an innocent and topical chat between comrades, but no For those not in tune with British culture, Mail was involved in shows like Bottom, The Young Ones, Black Adder, and the movie Drop Dead Fred. He's a much-loved comic genius in the UK and he is sorely missed. However, you can get a dose of his comedic flair and silliness through this retro title. Be sure to check it out. Number 2, Martin Sheen, Mass Effect When you think of Martin Sheen, you might think of the movie Wall Street. You might think of his role in Grace and Frankie. Or you might just think of him as Charlie Sheen's dad. Winning. Sorry, no dead memes allowed. Whatever way you think of the guy, we reckon very few of you will know him due to his role within video games. Yet he played a key role in one of the most iconic franchises in gaming history. In Mass Effect, Sheen plays the role of the elusive man. You can see some of the likenesses to the veteran actor, with the silver fox aesthetic and the rich billionaire swagger that the elusive man carries himself with, akin to some of Sheen's finest roles in TV and film. Of course, the cybernetic eye implants and generally inhuman nature of the guy doesn't come into it, but overall, it's a surprising cameo that many fans may have missed. Number 3, James McAvoy, Daisy Ridley, 12 Minutes. This may not be released yet, but it's an exciting prospect that is well worth a mention. Within one game called 12 Minutes, produced by Annapurna Interactive, you'll have the actress that played Rey in the newest Star Wars films, and the man who played the lead role in Split, playing the role of Kevin Wendell Crumb, a man with multiple personality disorder who would change personalities on the fly. So it's safe to say that the talent on board for this project is staggering. This game will have the player try and solve a mystery all within the confines of a small apartment and will revolve around the relationship of these two actors' characters. It's an interesting concept, a star-studded cast, and it's an Annapurna-backed title, so you can assume it will be of the highest quality on release. Be sure to keep this one on your watch list. Number 4, Chloe Grace Moritz, Dishonored. Next up, we will have one that almost certainly went under your radar. Dishonored was a stealth game that looks the world by storm when it arrived in 2012 thanks to its open-ended gameplay, fantastic stealth mechanics, and its subtle but effective chaos system. However, one detail you may have missed in this one was that Emily, the Empress's daughter, was voiced by none other than Chloe Grace Moritz. Moritz is best known for her role as Hit Girl in the movie Kick-Ass, plus roles in movies like 500 Days of Summer, Dark Shadows, Bad Neighbors 2, and The Addams Family. She's a Hollywood A-lister with plenty of work on her resume, so to see that she bolstered it with some work in the gaming industry is a nice thing to see. She wouldn't reprise the role in Dishonored 2, which is a shame, but to have talent like this involved in the franchise at all is a blessing. Number 5, Matthew Perry, Fallout New Vegas. Could this list be any more star-studded? Well, the simple answer is yes. For some of the Bethesda purists out there, you may not acknowledge Fallout New Vegas as a true Fallout title. However, if given the time, you'll find this game is a love letter to the older titles in the series and a true spectacle to behold. Then in terms of the cast, the game would have voice acting from famous country singer Chris Christopherson, Wayne Newton, aka Mr. New Vegas, and Danny Trejo was involved too. However, the best of the bunch has to be Matthew Perry of Friends fame. 
He would play the role of Benny, the man who shot you, the player, in the head. His delivery is incredible throughout the title. He plays this smug, smooth-talking character superbly, and as far as antagonists go, he's one of the more likable characters you can't wait to shoot in the head. Like I said, baby, all Benny needs is a stealth boy and a bobby pin. Listen out for the familiar voice next time you hit the Topps Casino. Number 6. Ric Flair, Command and Conquer Oh my god, JR, it's the Nature Boy! Yes, you heard correctly, Ric Flair lent his talents to a video game and performed with his typical showmanship to boot. In Command & Conquer Red Alert 3, Flair plays Douglas Hill, a straight-laced, hard-ass commander that is set to guide you through the process of leading your army to victory. You might think that this would come across as novel or cheesy, but to Flair's credit, he plays the role pretty well. He will consistently belittle you in his cutscenes, as a commander will often do in an army setting. Plus, he leans on his WWE experience by boasting how he's better than the player and could beat them any day. Hell, it's only one glittery bathrobe and a WWE branded microphone away from the real thing. Sadly, you won't get any figure four leg locks or a classic woo out of him, but I guess you can't have it all. If this one eluded you, be sure to check it out. Number 7, Elijah Wood, The Legend of Spyro Trilogy. Then lastly on our list, we have the man that played Frodo Baggins, Elijah Wood. Through this one role alone, Elijah will be considered film royalty forever. However, it may surprise you that he has also dabbled in the world of video games as well, playing the role of everyone's favorite purple dragon, Spyro. Now we will say that he did draw the short straw and play the character in the rather lackluster Legend of Spyro Trilogy. However, it could have been worse. It could have been Skylander's Spyro. To Wood's credit, he has one of the redeeming factors of the trilogy, making sure that Spyro as a character was relatable, emotive, and his usual cocky self. He shows his star quality, despite the game's rather average gameplay, and for that reason you have to applaud the guy here. He's done our childhood hero proud. So thanks for that, Elijah, and thanks for not stepping up to the plate when Skylanders got the hold of him. So that's our list of seven celebrity cameos in gaming that may have passed you by. Were there any that shocked you? How many of these were you aware of? Would you love to see a part two for this list? Let us know in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like this video for the YouTube algorithm to be a bit kinder to us, and subscribe so you can keep up to date with everything that happens on the channel. Also before you click away, if you want to support the channel and keep the content you love coming, why not do so by buying some games? That's right, through just following our affiliate links in the description, you can support the channel by shopping for games at no extra cost to you. Another way of supporting the channel for free is to use the creator tag VeryAli at checkout when you buy from Epic Game Store or from Fortnite's in-game store. We really appreciate your support and it greatly helps during these trying times that we're going through. You've been watching Very Ali Gaming, and we will see you very soon.